Is Phil Prazen was inside the Meyerson Symphony Center for today's interfaith service. He joins us now live from outside the Symphony Hall in downtown Dallas with more. Phil? Well, Robert, this was one of those events that brought many people from different political stripes together. And some of the most powerful people in the world asked all of us for help. We love police! We love police! Officers walked out to a crowd outside the auditorium. God bless you guys! They found Texans waiting, willing to understand each other. People all over the country, they're upset. You know, it's understandable, but we can't go to violence. Allison Doyle intends to play her part and hopes others can do the same. There's something that good comes out of this. It's been a tough week for Officer Melissa McGee. It's been tough for many. Coming in, I wasn't sure what to expect. Coming out, I, I, I feel good, as good as I can. It's, it's, a, it's a good start. Um, I, feel, I feel hope. When officers walked out, they found everyday Texans who know they have differences and a long way to go. But they say they're not going to let hate ruin this state. Well, Robert, coming up later, you're going to hear, hear from uh, some of our state leaders and also a local group that follows events like this around, and you may be surprised with what they're giving out. But for now, we're live in Dallas. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Here in Austin on Thursday, there will be a candlelight vigil honoring the fallen officers at the state capitol. It starts around sundown at 845, and everyone is invited to attend.